Hello, I'm Lloyd Austin, the Secretary of Defense. September is Suicide Prevention Month, and I'd like to talk to you about this serious and urgent issue. When it comes to the overall health and readiness of our force, we often focus on physical well-being. But while suicide prevention isn't just a mental health issue, we need to tackle mental health challenges and the everyday pressures and burdens that face our people. Mental health is health, period. We've got to treat all wounds, the ones that we can see and the ones that we can't. Tragically, we continue to lose brave men and women to suicide. One is too many. I take these losses seriously and personally. Each suicide creates waves of pain and grief and confusion. We mourn those that we've lost and we hope that we can honor their memory by redoubling our efforts to provide accessible, effective care and to get resources to those in need and to prevent future tragedies. So here are a few things that everyone can do to help keep themselves healthy and to help their, their fellow service members. First, use our 24-7 confidential support resources. Please reach out through Military One Source for non-crisis help such as relationship and financial challenges. If you or someone you know is experiencing suicidal thoughts, please call the Veterans and Military Crisis Line. There's help out there for service members, for veterans and their families, and we want you to get all the help that you need and deserve. And if you're in a leadership role, I would ask that you please promote these vital resources whenever you can. Second, safely store your firearms and medications. In life's difficult moments, everyone needs time and space between strong emotions and access to lethal items. You know, research suggests that easy access to firearms increases the risk of dying by suicide by as much as four to six times. So use a cable lock, a trigger lock, or a secured firearm safe, and take unused or expired prescription medications back to a military treatment facility for safe disposal. These safe storage practices will save lives and will protect you and your loved ones at home. Third, and this is one of the most important things that you can do, stay connected with each other. I know that these are difficult days for many people in the force and for many of my fellow veterans and for the larger military community. And I know that some of us are finding recent events especially difficult. We all need community and connectedness and, and we're human after all. And meeting these basic human needs can, can reduce the likelihood of contemplating or attempting suicide. So please seek support from family, from friends, from a chaplain or a counselor. You know, reaching out for help is a sign of strength and resilience and courage. But unfortunately, there's still a lingering stigma around asking for help, so all of us have to step up. We can all be thoughtful listeners. We can all remind our friends and family and colleagues that they are not alone and we can all do our part to prevent suicide. This month and every month. And so I ask our entire military community to connect to protect. Support is within reach. So thank you very much. Stay safe and be well.